All right, guys, so we have some sad news to let you guys know. So unfortunately, today at exactly 5.25 a.m., uh, the Victory Park location was burglarized. We had a burglary that happened at literally 5.25. I was asleep, and Fredo wasn't freaking answering the phone call, so we're just now here. Wanted to let you guys see, obviously, what the damage was, but, you know, we were affected in this, so sad to see because normally we don't see that, you know, especially here in the Victory Park location. It's typically always a quiet neighborhood right there's always people walking around it's always calm it's very not family oriented but there's a lot of professionals here there's a lot of you know just day-to-day -day businessmen stuff like that so it was sad to see that you know we were hit uh unfortunately uh by two guys that came in or actually three guys that came in That's the, um, that we know of that before. we know of so far so yeah 5 25 a.m they came in uh they broke our window as you see over here Shattered the window, they got in, uh, and they were only in and out for a minute. It was exactly 60 seconds. Exactly 60 seconds. They got in, in and out real quick. So I just wanted to show you guys a uh, little update as to what we have going on. So come on, let's go see what the damage is. So to show you guys what happened, I mean, there's nothing really to show anymore, right? They pretty much made off with all the clothing, all our merch that we had, which... I don't exactly know why they even took the merch, right? Because it's not something to be able to technically resell since it is technically just the store merch. So they made off with all our merch and they made off with pretty much all the high brands that we had. Again, Bape, Hellstar, Supreme, all those brands that you typically see like us carrying and whatnot. So they made off with all that front and back and same thing with here. So yeah, we pretty much had a, we had a lot of merch actually, a lot of clothing. Uh, we had over, how many was it? Like so over 100? Over 120 ish pieces. Yeah, I would say over 100. So it just sucks that they, I mean, they literally made off. We obviously have some extra stuff in the back as far as like sizing and stuff like that, but nothing too crazy. So the fact that they literally made off with the entire thing was probably the most annoying and, and thing that sucked most about it for sure. Uh, they did leave some clothes. So this is some of the clothes that uh, security was able to recover that they, I guess they, didn't make off with it. They pretty much all have stains on them if you see them from, the, from them being outside. It was raining, so that got, that technically survived. Um, these technically survived. Bape shirts and just some merch. And then we also have some more stuff on there if you see it on the, on the desk that, that survived. Mainly a lot of merch. So all this was, again, they said that they found them on the floor, right? Or what did they find? They found them on the street. So whenever they were getting into their getaway car, uh, they left a whole bunch of stuff. I guess they were obviously, again, this was all within a minute. They were going with it within a minute and they left a whole bunch of stuff on the floor. And a lot of the security guards were able to find them. So there just a whole bunch of merch that they left on, still in the hangers, and, but they're all dirty like this one, if you see this one. Look at this one. Even, look at this Stone Island piece. So yeah, it is pretty much dirty from being out on the floor. I'm just more pissed about that they took the actual good stuff, which is going to be like Hellstar. So Hellstar, yeah. they took all the Hellstar, uh, and they took all the spider hoodies that we had. Um, all the spider hoodies that we had, and uh, the three shoes. We just had bought those Cost Force, too. Yesterday. The Cost Force. So we bought, we bought in a pair of Cost Force, which was going to be on the bio video. We bought a pair of Cost Force, uh, VNDS, right? VNDS, and yeah, we bought them. We literally bought them that same day. The same night they hit us and they took a pair of his Travis Scott 4s, right? Can you tell us a little bit more on, the, on those Travis Scott 4s? Oh, I was just cleaning them one day here. I left them here because I was going to consign them. Boom. They're gone today. <laughs> and then a pair of Black Cement 3s that we had bought in that day. Black Cement 3s as well. Yeah, so that's pretty much what they took. Uh, let, uh, they didn't take anything in the back. Let's, I mean, we could always double check. Uh, here in the back, thankfully they weren't able to take anything. So exactly at 525, we got a call at, well, we got a call, but we were asleep, mm -hmm. right? The alarm system did uh, contact us, but for whatever reason, we just didn't wake up for it. So we didn't wake up for it. And then it wasn't until when we actually woke up to take the kids to school that I checked my phone. And the first thing I see is like a whole bunch of missed calls from, uh, from Keith, one of the security guards here. And uh, who else did I get? I got a call from property management out here and they were like, you know, I kind of assumed the worst. I don't even remember how exactly like I found out 100%. How'd you, didn't you, didn't you find out you first? Told me first? You told me 
What what was it? Cuz I woke you up. I was like, oh, I yeah, yeah, I remember. So check I, your first, your phone first. I checked my text messages. So Keith texted me. He was like, yo, bro, uh, your store got broken into. And he's like, I'm not joking. And obviously, like, you know, it's early in the morning. I'm not going to assume he's joking. So as soon as I, I thought about that, I'm like, damn, like, I'm thinking like, like everything, right? I'm thinking like the whole thing was cleared out because, you know, that's, that's kind of the first things or first instincts that I have. So I check the camera and then I immediately check all the racks are empty. Right, so I first looked at, and I'm already like, fuck, like the whole rack, like every single rack, that, that that's already like horrible in itself. So then I checked the other one. I'm like, all right, there's still shoes on the, on the wall, so that's still good. So I checked the I checked the back to see, if, you know, I'm already here thinking there's gonna be like already like shoes on the floor, like everything just thrown out. So thankfully that didn't happen, you know. Uh, so we were able to go on there and just verify that yeah they only took three shoes they took all the clothing and that was pretty much it but obviously the thing is that we deal with a lot of expensive clothes uh with you know you guys already know average ticket on pretty much all this clothing is going to be like anywhere from 100 bucks up to onwards to 300 400 500 so that's the thing that that sucks that you know yeah it is a lot of clothes but keep in mind these are a lot of high dollar uh, items as well so we're gonna have to obviously you know go go ahead and and you know just kind of Take the L in it. Uh, so right now we're just kind of figuring out what to do. Uh, obviously these people are out there. So if you guys have any information as to who this may be, again it was three guys, was three was guys that three came guys in. Three guys that came in. There's probably one driver. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any information or if you guys are, you know, if you guys want to keep an eye out for us, uh, whether it be like on Facebook Marketplace, uh, offer up all those good stuff. Make sure you guys keep an eye out uh, for all that clothing that they took and those sneakers that we just mentioned. Um, as well again uh, we already hit up all our friends out here the laboratory uh, Landon I hit him up Stephen from the laboratory and we who else did you hit up um, the guys over at knowledge we hit up uh, who else uh, I'm pretty sure private knows about it too so yeah we already, uh, we basically reached out to all the local uh, sneaker shops similar to us you know that way they can just kind of keep an eye because a lot of people they come in and they sell a lot of the stuff so if they ever come into any of those stores obviously they'll kind of keep a, an eye out for us but other than that um it's just no fucking words to describe it other than annoying and sad that you know uh people are still fucking doing that especially as a local business and you know being myself just running the store um you know alone with my managers and uh yeah just fucking sad to see that people are still out there you know, still, still, still be, being bums, I guess that's the, you know, the more, most transparent way to put, to put it. So again, everyone that sent me out, thank you guys so much for, you know, just checking up on me and the store and everyone that DM Fredo as well, shout out to them. Uh, but yeah, again, I don't think this is going to be something that's going to be like a end of, the world. end of the world type of thing. I don't think this is a um, major setback. It is a setback, but you know, obviously we'll bounce back from it, right? We'll bounce back from it. Uh, with the help of you guys, I appreciate everyone that's been supporting us from the get-go. Again, just know this is not this is not the end of anything. So, uh, appreciate everyone that's been supporting us. Either you guys have ever bought anything from us, you guys uh, leave a comment with us, and you know, in any video, um, just anything, right? Even if you guys even stop by the store or even say what's up to us at any sneaker events, I really appreciate that. Any support is good support. But other than that, you know. That pretty much sums up this video. Again, if you guys have any information, feel free to DM us. And you guys are going to see us a lot more. And this is not the end of it. So thank you guys. And, you know, we'll see you guys up on the next one. Peace.